Starting today, East Carolina University will be requiring face coverings in all indoor areas regardless of vaccination status. This mandate is for all students, faculty, staff, and campus visitors. Nine of your signs, Amber Joseph joins us in the studio now. And Amber, how are people reacting? Ken, ECU's campus was very busy today. It was the first day of student drop-offs, and students say they understand why the mask mandate is in place and are hoping for a normal school year. I think it was a really good decision on ECU's part just because of, you know, the Delta variant. Students and their families are gearing up for the fall semester during drop-off day, but they know the semester will look a little different due to ECU's indoor mask mandate. I was hoping getting the vaccine would allow me to kind of go in indoors without a mask on more often. Officials put the measure in place due to rising COVID cases. ECU student Kate Durant hopes case numbers decrease so COVID protocols won't be needed. I just really want to get back on campus and I really want to stay on campus. Um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I really hope it is. Masks are not required under certain circumstances, including while eating or drinking and indoors with dorm roommates. Face coverings are not required in outdoor spaces for those who are vaccinated, but the university encourages masks in large crowds. Durant fears if cases continue to spike, she'll have to go back to virtual classes. It had like six months of in-person classes before we went online and I just feel like I'm missing out on my college experience and I just really want to get back in person and stay there. University officials appreciate everyone's understanding and hopes to navigate together as one. Face coverings will continue to be required on ECU transit buses and this mandate will remain in effect until further notice. In the studio, Amber Joseph, Nine on your side. Thank you, Amber.